angry, unstable, empty, impulsive, and suicidal. These are just some of the traits in borderline personality. Hi, I'm Dr. B. Today's video is on the nine traits of borderline personality. If you find this video helpful, please hit subscribe. Watch this video to learn the criteria for BPD and learn what these traits look like in real life with concrete examples and stay until the end to learn whether you, your loved ones, or even your coworkers fit these definitions. Borderline personality is a disorder and this means that it's an ingrained part of who you are. It's chronic, it's always with you 24 hours a day and seven days a week and it can usually be traced back to early years in childhood or adolescence. It doesn't suddenly develop in adulthood, although it can be worse as you get older with stress like illness, divorce, and even physiologic changes like menopause, but its hallmark is in making relationships with others difficult, turbulent, and unstable. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual 5th edition defines nine criteria for borderline personality or BPD. These are useful to explore and understand BPD. First is fear of abandonment. This can be real or imagined abandonment. This fear of abandonment can come out in simple things like when your partner is late for dinner, or when you have a friend who you text and they don't text back right away, or even an adult child that is not answering a phone call. This is all interpreted as abandonment. This can be expressed in multiple ways, like tracking a spouse's phone to keep track of them because you're afraid they're leaving you. This can also be a self-fulfilling prophecy where a BPD individual causes the other person to truly leave or abandon them. This fear can be especially prominent as children approach adulthood, as they become increasingly independent and start looking for colleges, or going out with friends, or moving out on their own. Parents, rather than supporting their children for this new independence, will lash out with anger. Number two. A BPD individual feels chronic feelings of emptiness. This leads to a multitude of actions to try and fill this emptiness and is commonly seen as binge eating, excessive gambling, compulsive excessive spending, unsafe promiscuous sex, and none of these activities will soothe the feeling and someone with BPD will still have a constant urge and drive to fill this void of emptiness and pursue these damaging behaviors. The third criteria in BPD is unstable self-image. Someone with BPD has an inconsistent self-image with frequent changing of self, including hairstyle, clothing styles, jobs, cars. There can be a frequent need to reinvent themselves, and they may even be different people on different days, adopting different personas, an athlete one day and a consummate business professional the next day. Number four. Someone with BPD has self-damaging impulsivity. This is kind of related to the feeling of emptiness. A BPD individual will participate in all sorts of activities they can't control, and they're oftentimes not in their self-interest. They include, again, binge eating, reckless sexual behavior, but reckless driving, gambling, and especially substance abuse, both drugs and alcohol and illicit drugs. And at least part of this is related, again, to the chronic feeling of emptiness. A fifth criteria is unstable interpersonal relationships, where someone with BPD alternates between devaluing and idealizing somebody else. Over a very short time, someone with BPD will love or idealize a spouse and then hate them, sometimes in the same day and with equal enthusiasm and sincerity. They might send a text that says, I hate you, and then two hours later send a Valentine type text that says, undying love and devotion. The same mother that will shower a children with special food and treats at college will scream and curse at them later in the day when the child doesn't return a phone call. And the BPD mom interprets this as the child not loving her and abandoning her. A sixth criteria is inappropriate, intense anger episodes. Difficulty in controlling anger is frequent in BPD. Frequent loss of temper leading to physical fights, violence, and even throwing things, and this changes rapidly. Number seven, recurrent suicidal thoughts, behaviors, or gestures. Someone with BPD can turn their episodes of rage and anger inward, and the emptiness can become hopeless. This can lead to thoughts and plans for suicide, as well as self-hurting activities like cutting. Someone with BPD may even communicate with a loved one that they feel that has abandoned them as they perform a suicide attempt. 
Number eight, BPD individuals have overall instability of mood. Families will describe living with someone with BPD as walking on eggshells. On any given day, it's random what an emotional response might be. A comment that was laughed at yesterday will induce violent reaction, outbursts, anger, and violence today. This type of behavior is especially volatile in the realms of politics and faith, where you don't agree with a BPD individual. And finally, number nine, those with BPD can experience paranoia induced by stress. Those with BPD experience recurrent episodes of paranoia where they feel family, friends, or the government are out to get them, conspiring against them and plotting against them. They can believe teachers are singling out their kids or that big tech is taking over their phones, removing apps. Sometimes this level of stress can even rise to the level of dissociation or where the individual with BPD cannot even remember these events. These are the criteria for BPD. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit subscribe and click on these additional videos on Locus of Control or on some of these shorts.